Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at the Super Focus XL, extra long. So in 2019, the PSE Super Focus, the 37 inch bow, was a huge success for PSE. In fact, the Super Focus for me, as far as target bows, outsells all the other target bows in my shop, probably 20 to 1. That's how popular that bow is. So the Super Focus XL is a 40 inch version of this bow with a few modifications. And we're going to look at that. And also we're going to look at how this shoots compared to the Super Focus. So to start off with, it's a machine riser. We've got machine limb pockets here. No lateral adjustment like you'll see in the top of the line perform. You've got the option in this bow of a couple of colors. This is white, it comes with white limbs. I'm going to get the colors wrong, so just bear with me. Black cherry, maybe a platinum, definitely a platinum. Um, they've got a new new wave, new groove, color mashup thing for people who are colorful. Um, and also an American flag. Basically, they may, may also have a blue, but basically all the colors you saw with the Super Focus are not in the Super Focus XL. So the Super Focus XL comes in two models. One's the standard XL and one's a long draw version. The standard one features a slot like a um, focus cam, the Evolve cam system, but it's smaller and it's slightly different. We're going to talk about that. The um, IBO on this bow is 327 feet per second. Draw length is adjustable from 24 to 30 inches. Um, brace height 7.5 inches. 70% um, let off. Now you cannot adjust the let off on this bow. The Super Focus Long Draw and the Super Focus you can adjust the let off. And the reason is it has a different module. The module on the Focus and the module on the on the on the cams on the Super Focus XL is the same cam system and enables you to move the draw stop backwards and forwards. You cannot adjust it on this bow. Um, so that's the thing which is basically different. So it's a smaller cam system and you cannot adjust the let off on this bow as far as moving backwards to forwards. You can change the draw length on this bow by those two screws there, they're Torx, A being the longest mod, A being the longest and M being the shortest. You can see it's currently set on C now. And because this bow is adjustable from 30 down to 24, A being 30, this is set on C being 29, B would be 29.5, so each letter is half an inch of adjustment. It's got a yoke system to pull the cam evenly. Um, quarter inch axles here, um, which PSE introduced in 2019, maybe even towards the end of 2018. Um, a spot there for a lower stabilizer system. Now what's different on this compared to the Super Focus? I've changed the cable guard. The cable guard on the Super Focus and I'm thinking about my focus, which I've been shooting for a year, is a flexible cable guard. This is a solid cable, cable guard, and you can move it in or out to adjust the clearance. So it's just simple, simple um, Allen key there, you move it in or out to change your clearance. I like the white, the white's um, a paint finish, the other colors are an anodized finish, and people are gonna say, well, is it a two pack, is it an epoxy? I, I don't know, it's painted. It looks nice and it's very hard wearing, so. The limbs look nice in white. Now you can still get the other colors, but you're gonna pay a premium in the custom shop for that. So I'm gonna guess around 200 Australian dollars for a custom color, i.e. if you wanted the gold in the Super Focus XL, you could get that for a custom option, but it goes through a different process. It doesn't go through the production floor, it goes through the custom shop. So I fitted this um, bow with a basic three pin sight, whisker biscuit, no peep sight and D-loop. So my first thing is how does this bow draw compared to the Super Focus? And what sort of speed are we gonna get out of this bow? So the first off, I'm gonna shoot with my target arrows. These are VAPs uh, from Victory. They are a 350 with a 140 grain point, they're 29 inches long. This bow is set on 29 inches at 60 pounds. So let's first off compare the draw cycle. So it starts off solid, it's drawing, drawing, drawing. I feel like it's about to drop off, it's dropping now, and then dead stop. So the valley, I'm just gonna let that down. The valley is very short and it doesn't drop off like some, it's quite smooth. You can see my arrow's not moving, it doesn't hurt my shoulder to let down. Very good draw cycle and 70% let off, so you're still holding a fair bit of weight back there. So if you're looking for the 90% let off, this is not your bow, this is a target 
It's a target bow with a fairly standard let off of 70%. So how is this right compared to the focus in draw cycle? I think the focus is better, but we're gonna draw that back in a second. And let's just shoot this through the chronograph. I like it when you get back here, it's dead solid. Now that's a 270 feet per second with a victory. Now we're going to shoot with the velocity. These are gold tip velocities with a 400 with a 90 grain point in it. Um, these weigh 327. This is a standard arrow I do all my tests with. With the focus, you'll notice the grip on the focus I really like. It's um, thinner than the Perform, which I like a bit. The limbs on this aren't quite parallel, so when you shoot this bow, it jumps forward a bit in your hand. And also, you can see there's no, when I say there's no balance, you see it balances backwards. So when you shoot, it kind of jumps out of your hand a bit and then jumps forward. Now when you fit stabilizers to this, that won't be the case. And everyone who buys one of these bows will be fitting stabilizers to it. So it's a 297 um, with the velocity um, arrow, which is not a bad speed. So with that, I really like the draw cycle of this bow. It's, it doesn't hurt my shoulder at all. Now, even though this bow jumps out of your hand, I kind of like the feel of that when you shoot it. It kind of makes you know you've shot the shot and the kind of, there's movement. Now, a lot of the hunting bows will not move in your hand with no stabilizers. That's because they're perfectly balanced. This you have to fit stabilizers to make it balanced. So with that, I'm gonna grab my focus and let's compare them one to one. So this is the focus I've been shooting. Um, I'm just gonna move this camera back a bit because I've got a big long stabilizer on it. Um, I've really liked this bow since I've had it. I've shot, as far as I'm concerned, as well with this bow as any other bow I ever have and hence I've been shooting this bow pretty consistently for the entire year. So this is the velocity Sorry, this is the VAP arrow. Two seven one, so almost identical speed. Two seventy one versus two seventy. This both set on twenty eight and a half versus the twenty nine. So the super focus a little bit, a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to say it feels like more let off on the Focus than the Focus XL. Um, the draw cycle to me feels sm smoother, easier on the Focus, Super Focus than the XL, but I'm still very comfortable with the XL. The XL feels more solid all the way through. So I'm going to say, you know, like Hoyt and um, Matthews. Matthews has got the TRX in a 38 and a 40. Same cam system, so those both feel very, very similar. Hoyt do a 37 and a 40 as well, or 37 and a 39. These two are not the same because these have different cams. Now, when it comes to the Super Focus XL versus the long draw, those two bows will feel very similar, but they will have different draw lengths. Um, and I'm interested to compare the long draw at 29 versus the the standard XL at 29 that's what we'll do in a in another video so with that I'll just shoot the velocity with the focus this should be around a 299 given that the XL shot a 297 um, Two nine eight, so completely consistent. That's what you expect. People are going to ask me, "Am I going to change to the XL version?" And at the moment, I don't know. And that's why I'm doing this video this weekend. And I'm also going to do the video on the XL long draw because I'm interested in a couple of things about the long draw versus the standard small cam. Because a lot of pro shooters said you're always better to have your bow max out in draw length. So if you're 29 inches, you're always better to go for the standard Supra XL than the long draw and set the long draw at the shortest draw length. And I'm interested to compare those speeds and the way those bows shoot. So with that, let's go and shoot this bow at 18 meters and see how well I shoot with it. Back here at 18 meters, um, 
I've got a camera set up down there so I'm hoping that it works this time so you can track the arrows. Now with the weight of this bow, this bow weighs about 4.7 pounds in mass weight. So it's definitely not a lightweight bow. But with, with target shoes, what they do is they add piles of weight to their stabilizers to make the bow very heavy to basically stabilize themselves. Now it's no use adding heaps of weight to your bow if you haven't got the strength to hold that up. So if you're a beginner and don't have the strength to hold up a heavy bow, maybe this bow is not the not the first bow you buy maybe you buy a lighter bow of physical mass weight and you build up to a bow like this so now i've shot about five arrows with this bow so far um and the sights are pretty much um, centered in it was easy i just fit this is just a plastic toe point sight very easy to adjust with the plastics um so let's see how i shoot i so before I shoot this, I'm going to say how I think I'm going to shoot. I think I'm going to shoot this really well. The draw cycle is very smooth. I shoot very well with smooth, smooth draws because my sight picture is very stable. Um, the wall is solid. I'm 70% let off. I tend to shoot better with than the 90% because I tend to float around a bit. Axle axle 40 inches. I'm going to shoot a bit better with that than short axle and a seven and a half inch brace height. I generally shoot well with above six and a half inch. So I think I should shoot well with this. The unknown to me is the when the bow comes off because it doesn't have stabilizer on it, it will kick a little bit. But I think by the time I shoot the shot, it's gone. So I expect to shoot a good group with this. I've been wrong before and I didn't shoot the shoot down very well, as people always remind me. Um, but I think I'll shoot this well. So let's have a look. Now you can see when I shoot this bow, the bow does a bit of that when it comes out. That's because it's got no stabilizers. But it's, it feels nice when it comes out. Um, now what I find interesting about the 40 versus the normal Supra, the 40 at 29 inches feels comfortable for me. The Supra at 28 and a half feels comfortable for me. So I'd be shooting this one at 29, where I shoot my current Supra at 28 and a half. Now, I have no idea where these arrows are going. Um, I suspect they're going in the middle, but um, other questions I get. Um, oh, multiple sight, sight holes on the Supra, which is really good for moving your sight up and down to give you the adjustment you need. I really like that feature. The strings on this, these are the American, sorry, the PSC live wire strings that are served in the middle, which is good. I would like the super focused XL to come with colored strings to match the bow. Like this is gray and white, which kind of does, but I think they're fitting these strings to all their bows. I'd prefer them to be colored. I really, I really like this bow to shoot. It's interesting, I always remember the first time I shot the Supra Focus. And I was like, this bow's not going to shoot very well because it doesn't have parallel limbs. And I've been shooting it for a year, I'm super happy with it. Now I've sold a few of these Supras that have been, I've had them in my store for about a month. And the people who have brought them have all been happy with them and they've all shot really good scores. So. So what I'm finding when I'm aiming this bow, um, one, it doesn't move, as I, so I pull back aiming at the gold and my sight pin's pretty much on the gold the entire time, it's not moving. The draw cycle's so smooth, you know, like if you're shooting a blade rest, which is most target archers will be shooting, it's not gonna be bouncing off the breast as you pull this bow back because it's so smooth, the draw cycle. Um,
the the way PSE um, get their um, cams aligned so that basically as you pull this bow back the yoke system and the cams are pulling one way or the other the way PSE achieves this is through having different poundage limbs on the bow so you'll see here the numbers there the top left hand is 135 top right hand is 140 bottom left hand is 142 bottom right hand is 139 so the heaviest limb is bottom left second heaviest is there the lightest limb is up the top here so kind of interesting one thing about every every focus I've sold and that paper tuned has paper tuned pretty much first arrow out the box clear clear paper tune I've had no issues with having to shim the cams on the focus it's just been it's just been a delight and I've had I'm going to say I've had no warranties with Supras touch wood I don't know if that one went in the middle or not because there's a bit of wind um, so I've had no warranties like I don't know if I've had dry fires or what but nothing like no limbs no no nothing um, it's quite amazing because I've sold a whole bunch of them in 20, 2019 2019 to 2018 and target bows get shot a lot and not a single warranty claim which is great Now if you do have a warranty claim with PSE, as far as customer service, they are brilliant. They've got a serial number just there on the riser. You quote that when you've got a warranty claim. So you ring up your dealer who you brought your bow from and say, I've got this bow 268, whatever the number is. Uh, my limbs have got a little splinter in them. Um, I need a wa warranty on it, lifetime warranty. They just contact PSE and say, I've got serial number XYZ for Mike Brown. Um, it's got a splinter and basically in three weeks they'll send you a new set of limbs and you're back in business but it's it's really that easy some boat companies are not that easy um, so for me it's a it's a really really good thing okay so I'm I'm shooting this bow without stabilizers um, and I'm thinking do I prefer this to the normal focus I shoot and I'm going to say straight up I do um, I don't know if it's in my imagination or not I think I prefer the draw cycle on it because it doesn't drop off as much it feels a bit smoother um, And I don't know if I'm being a new bo new bow fanboy because when Matthews had the TRX 38, sorry 40 came out first, and they brought out the 38, everyone sold their 40s and brought a 38. So I kind of feel like PSE's done the opposite. They started with the 38, brought a 40, and, ev and everyone's jumping from the 38s to the 40s. I'm not that. This is a different cam system, and I'm just taking how how this bow feels to shoot. And like I said, I like the focus. I just feel this draw cycle is a little bit smoother. It doesn't drop off as much in the end. This Supra focus, to me, feels like it's got a bigger value in the end. This feels like a little bit shallower. And... And that sight pin is not moving. There's bit there's a bit of wind around and it's cold. Um, it feels really, really good. So my negative points, because I always do my negatives. Um, I think PSE should be with these strings, they should be making them in colours and they should be available at an affordable price. At the moment they're not that affordable. So what so what's happening with these string sets are people are basically going to their local string guy. Um, Dave Strings and saying hi Dave can you make me a set of strings for my Supro because I want uh, pink to go with my white riser 
and they're having a set of custom strings made. I'd be much more ha happy if PSE produced strings saying Super Focus XL and here's all the colors they come in and this is the price and being affordable. It gets rid of that variation. A lot of people, as soon as they get their bow, will get custom strings for the bow, which to me has never made any sense because there's nothing wrong with these strings. I've, get, I've got no peep rotation with the PSE strings straight out of the factory. Sometimes, some of the reviews I did, the knocking point was a little bit loose. In this one, actually this is the Fivix knock. It's good, and this is the Biter knock here. You can see it slides up and down easy, but to come off, it's actually pretty good as far as coming off. So I wouldn't change the serving size on this, it slides up and down, so you want a tight fit on there. But coming off, it's not too bad, so I wouldn't really change that. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. So with that, let's go and check out the group down the other end, because I can Okay, so I'm up here at the target. So this is my group. Now you see I shot one low nine. I'm pretty sure that's the one where the wind came up and I kind of cooled it. I can almost get my fingers around the group. Every arrow is a nine or higher. The group is slightly high to the right, but overall, besides that one arrow, I can get my fingers around the whole group. It's a, it's a pretty good group for, for no for no target sights, no stabilizers, straight out of the box, no tuning. That's a pretty, no peep sight. That's a pretty good group. I'm very happy with that. So my summary of this bow. Um, if you're looking at a new bow, you're always best to try them out. Um, I'm interested now to try out the Super Focus long draw version at 29 inches to see if I prefer it versus, versus the standard um, size. Um, I'm very happy with that bow. And for me, I think it's now a matter of taking this bow or the normal Super Focus long draw and actually shooting scores with target and seeing which ones I shoot slightly better with. Now saying all that, I've got a Perform which is 40 inches axle axle and I shoot about the same scores as the Focus. And when I say about the same scores, I mean if the score's out of 900, it's one or two points different. I find I'm shooting slightly higher groups with the focus than the perform, like maybe one or two points. Um, and over that kind of dis over 900 points at long distance, day to day, it's, it's basically, it's a struggle to tell the difference between the two bows. And I think that's why I sell so many Supras versus all the other bows in my shop because all the other target bows on the market tend to be like two thousand dollars and super focus in australian dollars is about thirteen fourteen hundred dollars and it's just really affordable the other target bow which i think is interesting is the elite victory um, similar price point to the super focus the difference in the victory to the sorry the elite to the PSE, the Elite has got modules, so you need to change modules to change the draw length. To change the modules, you need to drop the whole string set, you need a bow press to do it, and it only comes in blue, gray, and maybe black, where the Super Focus comes in a whole bunch of colors. And it's got those rotating modules, which means any draw length suits anybody. So, so my summary why the Focus is such a good bow is it shoots really well. I mean the top lady in the world won the world championships with the Super Focus. Um, there are many top shooters shooting Super Focuses at a world level. Um, so you know it's a world class bow you're buying, you know it's backed up by top class service as far as if anything fails they look after you and there's a whole bunch of them available the resale value is good on PSE because of the rotating modules it means it's easy to sell um, and I think the bows it probably competes with the most is probably the Chinese and the Chinese bows really haven't competed well in the marketplace because it doesn't have that it doesn't have that backup of the performance that you know you get with a PSE that if you buy a bow, you know it's a quality bow. You know it's it's on the it's on locked on the mark. So I suppose it's the reassurance is the word I'm looking for. You've got that reassurance when you buy a PSE or you shoot a Focus that you know there's people shooting great scores with it. You know it's a bow that's being tested in a shooting range 
to simulate 25 years of shooting. You know PSE have checked this riser with 200 pound limbs. You know PSE have um, done a whole bunch of tests on this bow. You know that the Super Focus XL is very similar to Super Focus, which has been out for a year and a half, has had no problems with it. And this is the bow they've got now. So very minor changes from the 2019 version. And I think those changes with that rotating cable guard is good. The 40 inch axle axle, I don't think you'll probably notice, but for me, I'm interested. And I'm also interested to shoot a white bow. As narrow as that, that, that says, I haven't shot a white bow before, so I'm interested to kind of shoot a white bow. So, but with this, the next review will be on the long draw version of the Supra. So I'm going to be interested to see which bow I prefer, but overall, I'm very happy with that group except for that one arrow where I dropped when the wind came in and I dropped my arm a bit. So I'm Stephen Ham from Archery, Archery Supplies and the more you shoot, the better you'll shoot. Thanks for watching. Bye.